Hey everyone, this week on Pizza Roundtable, Christy Alia from At Real Clever Food stops by to talk to Jim and I about her new Pincho style pizza. Jim and I talk about Brazilian style pizza, the lack of pizza on the New York Times top 100 restaurant list, and why Yelp says that you can only find the best Chicago style pizza outside of Chicago. Welcome, everyone, to Pizza Roundtable, part of the Pizza Club Network. Every week, we cover the biggest news stories in the pizza world. Uh, I'm your host, Will Dumas, and I'm joined by my guest host tonight, Jim Mumford. Jim is both a cookbook author and a writing contributor for the media publication Inside Hook. Jim, what's up, buddy? How are you? Hey, good evening, Will. How are you, bud? Doing all right. Got this crazy cough for some reason that just started as we hit the record button. So I'm chewing on this cough drop. I hope it will go away in five seconds, but if not, <laughs> otherwise I'm doing well. <laughs> otherwise, listen, it's the podcaster flu. It happens to all of us. Um, how was your, how was your week in pizza, man? Any good pizza this week for you? Yeah, a lot of good pizza this week. This uh, weekend, going to do some photography for the cookbook. So uh, I think we're going to make a dozen or more pizzas. And yeah, it's going to be, uh, so ask me, ask me next week. Uh, if I've made any good pizzas, because the answer is going to be uh, going to be yes. How how about you? What uh, what what what's on your pizza deck? You know, I didn't have any pizza this week, but I did. I should have called you because I ordered my kids Domino's um, when I went out. We we went out over the weekend and grabbed a babysitter, and so I was like, oh, mm -hmm. "What do I make?" And I was like, "Oh my god, let me use my oh, emergency, emergency pizza that pizza. I never signed up for." But at least I thought about it. You know what I mean? So I did order them Domino's. They watched it come on the app. My son was obsessed with getting like Hawaiian pizza. Um, he wants pineapple on pizza. This is his jam. He tr we tried it out one time elsewhere. Got the Hawaiian kid was so happy, man. He's all about it. Okay. So it was a well, successful Domino's well, run. And I thought about them only because we constantly were talking about them. Really? Okay. Over Pizza Hut, over Papa John's, over somebody else, because they're just in my head. All this media marketing from Domino's. You've done it. You got me. You got you, me. You, 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 got, you got your victim, Domino's. Congratulations. Well done. Um, listen, man, I know, I know we got a lot of articles to go through tonight. So. Um, let's say maybe we start with an article out of PMQ, um, which was about Brazilian pizza. Now, I know nothing about this as a style. I'm not going to lie. Kind of reading this PMQ article was really my first introduction to it. Um, but the article itself from PMQ is titled, uh, Tampa Bay Startup Has a Unique Selling Proposition Brazilian Style Pizza. So, Jim, I know you know everything. I know you know every style, every regional area of pizza. Did you Was Brazilian pizza on your radar before you read this BMQ article? Um, it, it was. So, I mean, I, I'm fairly familiar with, uh, okay. with Brazilian-style pizza. Uh, pizza's a thing there. Um, I've talked with actually some, you know, pizza makers down in Brazil, and it's strange because you know pizza is kind of their thing but you can see it's like three three versions removed right so you can see the heavy yeah. german influence with the ham and the onions um you can still see the neapolitan but also heavy meat which is very brazilian so it's a thing um and i love that it's coming stateside interesting you know i did notice the onions too right which i know listen we we're talking about close cousins or neighbors from a proximity perspective, right? As we've talked about some of the Argentinian style pizzas, right? The fugaceta, which is like heavy onion, right? So that first picture that you mm -hmm. showed right there totally led me that direction when I was like, wait, is there an influence like across, like totally different, right? Like the fugaceta, so yeah. much more cheese, like cheese on cheese on cheese, but the onions drew me in. I was like, maybe there was some intermingling here. Yeah, and, and what a great way to put it, right? Because there is air mingling. Um... But I, I think it's cool. Um, you know, Sao Paulo is low key one one of the highest pizza consumers in the world. Um, you know, I was kind of researching. So I you know, it's fun and what's even yeah. more fun is we're we're starting to do it right, you know, stateside and take kinda it can back appropriate, right? So I love to see how the actual more authentic styles kinda commingle and bring it kinda back to a you know, a more authentic center. So I'm here for it. 
Absolutely. And I, and I know the article here was, was covering um, Team of Florida, and they kind of noted here that in the Tampa region, right, I think this, the, slight, the spot was called My Slice Pizzas of Brazilian-style pies. And I know there's nearly 130,000 Brazilians living in Florida in general. And I was not, I guess it makes sense, the idea like heavy meat, heavy toppings that becomes a knife and fork um, style pie. So I wasn't expecting that. I don't know why that one was, was unique to me, but I thought it was just going to be one of these kind of monstrous creations you had to, had to hold up, but they do go knife and fork for a style. So that's so interesting, man. Yeah, it, it's definitely interesting. I, I equate it a little bit to like the Cuban style, right? And how that kind of back appropriated uh, down Miami to um, different styles of pizza, right? That's a pan pizza. This Absolutely. Is more of a hand totally, toss, but... totally. But it's cool. I, I'm cool. I'm here for it. Yeah. All right. Cool. I'm in. I'm in. Um, and so I, I know they noted here, too, as well, that there's a lot of influence from different areas. Right? They're importing San Marzano tomato sauce from Italy, and Brazil has its own. They crafted a Brazilian-style dough. So it looks like look, a lot of hybrid, man, a lot coming together yeah. in this pie. I'd be intrigued to, to try this one. I think it's that onion, that onion pie that, like, just really caught my attention. And I'm like, damn, sometimes you're like, that's just too much onion. But for some reason, that being too much onion still looked good. And I was like, I knew that would be in for it. Yeah, it reminded me of kind of the like the Oklahoma onion burger, right? Where it's too much onion, but so yes. thin and so salted that yes, it kind of melts. Yes, yes, yes. That, you have that to was get my the analog to right. this. Right. Totally. Right. It that can't be thick. It has dude. to be salted. Exactly. All right. Simplicity, but perfection from it when done right, right? <laughs> Got it. Um, I think it's going to be a PMQ night um, for the most part. We've got a couple articles coming up from them. So I think maybe we can talk a little <laughs> bit about dough. Um, so PMQ had another article this week coming out. Um, is under mixing pizza dough as bad as it sounds? And so I would say I don't know if I've ever thought that I've really experienced an under mixed dough. Maybe I'm just not, like, a pizza maker that's gonna like i'm trying just to incorporate things and i'm generally letting you know fermentation kind of do its job right i'm a, I'm a time probably more than technique type person right maybe that's because i'm a little yeah. amateur and maybe this one hasn't come up for me but you tell me man what did you think about this one under mixing the dough yeah yeah I, I thought it was an interesting article right and the, the crux of it being um that you, you it's really hard to right once it comes together it's going to do its thing the glutens are going to form um and, and i do agree but i've seen people under mixed dough and it's actually pretty easy to do right you know the, it's well it's just all together well no you know the flour has to hydrate so i i yeah. i i kind of disagree with that it's not possible it's very possible especially for an amateur cook um, okay. And, and you know they're again are using hand mixer, you're using your hands. So I I think it is more of an art. And but I do agree with kind of the punchlines. You can't really overmix. So just keep going, right? You can't. It's hard to overneed. It's hard to you know overdo it. You can, but it's very difficult. So I I think the takeaway for a home cook would be whatever you say, go two, three, four more minutes. It's not going to hurt anything. And it's only going to help. Okay, so that's a good, that's actually a good takeaway, to tell you the truth. Because if you're thinking like, have I mixed this enough? It's not bad to just keep going, as opposed right. to like thinking you're going to ruin it. Maybe something that's more. If we're thinking more on like the uh, the sweet side or pastry side, where we could get to that point where we're like exactly. getting close to the overmix, and you're gonna destroy what you're putting out there, right? So interesting. Okay, I didn't think about it that way, buddy. Yeah, a a absolutely, uh and. It, it, you know, if you do overmix it again, it's going to make, you know, a little, you're going to kind of destroy some of the glutens and you're actually going to go backwards. It's still not going to be terrible. I'd rather overmix and undermixed, right? Because undermix, you won't have any gluten at all. And then it's going to be crumbly, right? Almost like biscuit like. And we've been there, right? Yeah. I've, I've definitely done that, especially like when the kids get in there, it's not needed enough. So um, definitely, definitely a cool article and definitely um, something I don't think a lot, of, a lot of recipe writers and a lot of us consider. You know, when we're making dose at home. Yeah, all right. So good takeaway. You know, one thing that actually really caught my attention too is that I, I know they, they mentioned it here. I'll quote from it quickly. To give you an idea how much pizza dough can be undermixed, there is a method for making a very thin cracker type pizza crust mm -hmm. where the dough is mixed only until most, but not all, of the flour is hydrated. I'm not going to lie, that really stood out to me. I don't think I've ever gotten to the point. 
I guess maybe if I'm doing like a, a Biga or something like that, where, where maybe I'm not like, where we're adding water later on, we're adding water, we're incorporating, and then we're adding more water later. But here, it seems like these very thin cracker style pizza dough, you are literally leaving some of the flour not hydrated, like visually, that's crazy. I don't know about that one. That one really stood out to me unique and I needed your thoughts on that because I was like, you're the cracker yeah. thin guy. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, I think there are two ways to get a cracker thin, right? You can undermix it, not hydrate all of it. It's very tricky, right? Because over a 24 to 48 hour rest, it's going to hydrate some. Yeah. Um, but what that is, is kind of a substitution for what like recipes like mine call for is securing, right? Where you roll it, you form it, and then you leave it in the fridge for a day, right? To kind of dry out. It's the same thing. Um, I think the undermixing is a little trickier, uh, personally. Okay. But if you don't have the time to, to cure, you know, for a day or you don't like what that texture does, then yeah, you basically purposely, you almost, you can either spike it with some flour at the end, right? To kind of be a, a desiccant almost, a culinary desiccant. Um, yeah. Or you can, uh, you can just under mix. So yeah, definitely cool. And I've seen some pizzerias, some tavern styles do that, especially like your St. Louis styles. will do that Ooh, a little yes, bit more. Yes, yes. This is the uh, um, quote-unquote tortilla style mm. um, pizza shell, right? That is. It's almost... <laughs> <That's weird. laughs> <laughs> um, cool. I, I, look, I never see any of these things I don't forget, dude. I remember whatever I think St. Louis style now, I'm like, and Jim's telling me about them. Jim's if we can even tortilla. call it a pizza dough, if we can even call it a pizza dough, right? It's that, yeah, it's, that thin. <laughs> it, it, it is. And sorry if that offends anyone from Emos or Montebello, but yeah, I call it like I see it. Sorry. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> um, listen, speaking of calling it as they see it, um, PMQ, again, another list, that, another article that came out for them. So this is the only pizzeria to make the New York Times 100 best restaurant list. So the Times is calling it, and they're only calling one pizzeria um, with its ability to make the list, right? This is Anthony Mangiari, right? This is Una Pizza Napolitana in New York. Um, I, listen, an amazing destination for pizza. Uh, absolutely happy for Anthony to be on the list. He was on the list before, right? He's back on this year. I think he got bumped up two spots. I think they're noted within it. But Jim, give me your thoughts, man. In general, New York is a pizza town. I feel like we've been, not just us, the rest of the world is talking pizza, 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 nonstop. Why are we not getting any higher representation on the list, man? What is the deal, dude? Is pizza just not finding its way into like the restaurant list and they just stay on the pizza list? What is happening here? Yeah, I, I I think you nailed it, right? And listen, 12th is higher than I would have expected. Uh, but I think people still view pizza, pizza is not, a pizzeria is not a restaurant. And I, again, I don't get, it. Um, but, you know, to be fair, some of the New York, you know, places, they serve slices, right? They might serve absolutely, a pasta, they absolutely. might serve one, but it's not a sit down restaurant. You're not getting service. So I think I understand it from a, you know, if you're looking at service and you're looking at the hospitality, but when you're looking at quality of food and what a restaurant is, come on, right? I mean, if you're asking if, you know, the where do I want to eat, where are my destinations, having one pizzeria on there is is very, very odd. Um, and especially when you look at kind of the rest of the list, um, yeah. it's... It's not like it's a whole bougie thing. It's not like it's a cost thing. Like they do run the range of, you know, kind of, Fair. you know, fast foody kind of places all the way up. So yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. You got I, some broad I, representation. Yeah. So I, I don't know. It surprised me. What about you? I mean, you, I can think of five, six, seven. I would have had in this list. Easy. Unbiasedly. Yeah. Right? I, I'm with you on that one. And I know they, they did know, right? Like the PMQ kind of highlighted here as well. There's two <laughs> restaurants that quote unquote serve serve pizza right that are, that are made at barbudo at number 51 and marks off madison 73 um but i'm with you I, I think it's a classification issue where people associate pizza and it's almost like its own category even if we think of it i think for the most part where maybe pizza catches more attention it's gonna be some kind of like you know trattoria or like maybe there's pizza focus but there's also a number of small plates there's also some other italian like based uh, kind of appetizers that that they're going to do as well so it's like then it kind of like oh are you a pizzeria or are you not then are you a restaurant so it is a unique category to to, to fall in it's just I don't know. There's something about it, man. I wish there was at least another name, two, three, <laughs> that that could have been hit here. Like, it would have made sense to me. Yeah, and 
I don't know. It, it, what what gets me right is, you know, I would have understood if it was all Michelin star, right? You had that class. Fair. But it very wasn't. Fair, very so, fair. Absolutely. I don't absolutely. know. It, it, absolutely. Pizzerias are their own category, but in a way, they're absolutely not, right? And they're kind of one of the OG restaurants in our culture. So, I don't know. I, I think a, a broken slash bias list. Big All right, calling it out, calling it out for the times. Like I said, Have they're to. calling it as they see it. Um, so are we. They see it differently next year, and we see a couple <laughs> more names <laughs> pop on across the category. But uh, so, listen, I thought it was in general, though, just from surely from a restaurant perspective, a good broad array uh, yeah. vibes are out there. It's always cool to see some different names coming to the mix, right? New York, you always have your iconic places that people go to. Um, which can be tough too, right? Because sometimes yeah. when you get those reviews of those places and they're, you know, iconic and, you know, 12 years later, they, they may fall off perhaps, right? From, from where they were, mm -hmm. uh, it's always good to keep them on their toes, right? <laughs> well, it, it, you know, it's funny, right? Cause, cause you totally nailed it. I'm thinking one particular steakhouse, I won't mention it, but you know, I, you know, you I think had, we're thinking I had, the same one. We're thinking we we're are. thinking the same one. But again, Absolutely. I had it 15 years ago, transformed. Yeah. I had it a couple of years yeah. ago and you're like, am I at? Texas Roadhouse, right? And no offense to Texas Roadhouse, but right? I mean, it's it's fine it's in itself. Different categories, itself. Different, different category, category. Different, caliber, different, right. caliber. different caliber, different caliber. But if I'm expecting here, and I don't, there's, you know, I'm sure we're getting, you know, how generationals and turnover. But you're right. When places get that name, do they keep it? And yeah. I didn't see a lot of like a tip, you know, the names on there, which again yeah. tells me it's it's a little more fresh list. So I respect that aspect. Yeah. Yeah, like, I thought that was cool. I'm like we immediately went to the same place, right? We knew exactly what we were talking <laughs> about. <laughs> Pretty funny. Absolutely, dude. Absolutely. Um, listen, while we're while we're talking um, different pizza styles, and, and, um, this article next up, this one was by out of um, NBC Chicago, I think it was, and it was the title for this one was Yelp Names Restaurant with. Chicago style pizza, and it is not in Illinois. Um, now, I was also going to make a little pun here and say it was not in Chicago because I think a lot of times people think Chicago is a state and not um, just a city. <laughs> people talk about it. I think in general, Illinois sometimes gets forgotten and undershadowed um, it does. by it. Um, but in general, um, I don't know. What do you what do you think about the outcome for for this one here? Uh, terrible deplorable right um you know i i checked out some of these places they make a really nice deep pizza it's not chicago chicago style deep dish at all um okay. and to say that it's not one one through 50 isn't in chicago is silly and i dare i say yes. you know clickbait yes that's pretty um I don't, I don't know this one. Um, this is an heirloom pizzeria in Monterey, California. Sorry, lose the question. Uh, heirloom pizzeria in Monterey, California. I don't know it. Um, I guess in the same breath is is it? Uh, this with this leak, this article just didn't feel right. To me. Like I, I almost didn't want to click on it. To be fair with you, it was like clickbaity, but that I didn't want to click it because I was like, this is silly. <laughs> this is not what it's well. It at all and i'm not gonna like this no and you listen it's nbc chicago calling out yelp and i respect them for that but i'm yeah, sorry sure. pequod's pizza being num P pequod's pizza being number 20 pequod's is the best right um one of the best right and not having burt's on their art of pizza or even the giordano's lumanais is just a sure. silly clickbait list by by yelp um so I and listen. I I don't think there's someone on the plant who knows maybe not um, who knows Chicago style deep dish more than I do. And just to have places I've never heard of, and not the other places can't. But I don't know. It, it just seems seems off. And shame on you. Listen, I, you know we were talking last week how you know how the way Yelp ranks things is very skewed, right? And yeah. you can you can move that needle. And I wonder if some of this is that um, because mm. uh, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, you it, know, it is interesting. Definitely interesting. We've seen we've seen a number of we've seen a number of Yelp items right, that have come up with with different Yelp lists, right? To be fair, I don't, I don't yeah. want to Yelp, right? In, in general, it's a service, and it's out there. sometimes I'll use Yelp and check something. There's nothing wrong with it, but um, right. 
we've seen the Yelp elite list be different from the overall Yelp list. And yeah. I don't know if I know if I side with that differentiation or if I put that much more reliance in the, the elite side of it, but Yelp is, Yelp's always being talked about it. I'll tell you that though. So whether we hate it or love it, they are in uh, the forefront for, for discussions of anything. Hey, listen, I get it. But again, it, it, to say that a Chicago deep dish, which doesn't, doesn't tri- I don't know. Ah, <laughs> boy, that, that was hard. I, I, I is got it, angry is it with the number it. One, is it the number one that hurt you so bad? Or is it key positive? You know what I mean? Like which which of those ones were and, and just some of my some of the other favorite it, it's the number one being was it from like California too? Yes. Like yes. which yes. come on, stick to California style. Uh, which... Well, can we call this California style then, right? They can just do whatever they want. <laughs> yeah. So now yeah. now that we've imported the Chicago yeah. pizza to Chicago, is this inherently, you know, just um you know California style, then. So this could have been the number one California style pizza right there. I, I, or is it really the most unique? Mm-hmm. I, honestly, <laughs> by the look of it, I think it's closer to California than to you. But yes, listen, you got me worked up. You got it. You nailed it, <laughs> right? I think it's what we were going for. So. <laughs> oh, good. I'm glad. Perfect. I'm glad that. Okay. Um, nah, that's what I'm here for. Right. Let's talk. Um, since we just talked pizza near you we talked about pizza in new york let's talk about some pizza near me um let's head to charlotte for a minute Um, let's talk about this article i think it was charlotte observer Um, but there might have been two different coverages of this one there was an axios one and a charlotte observer one both highlight the same idea um there's an amazing pizzeria down here it's called bird pizza b-i-r-d right now they're doing their pizzas are only available via like you have to go to their website you can order a pie or you order whatever amount you want it's for pickup um but you get a spot um you know what i mean so like you have to order for like a time slot you pick it up um the the pizzeria is like honestly it's amazing scroll down a little bit jim and show like a picture of this pie it is like it's 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 on the edge of where i think people will be like oh uh, but if you know pizza and you try it, you're going to be like, oh, my gosh, like the, the cook or the bake on this is is dark, like, it, but it's not overdone. It's not burnt at all. Like, it's a beautiful pie. They describe it, I think, as like a New England style pie. And I think that's a good representation broadly. Like, it's got some, I think, personally, I think it has some like, New Haven characteristics to it a little bit. I just, it's a, it's beautiful. Like, honestly, like, I eat pizza here whenever possible. It's somewhat near my office, so I'm, I'm happy to bring these home and, like, and try to make other people try it. Like, well, I will order more than one just so that I can, like, give it out to others. Like, it is so good. Literally love them. If I knew how to do the heart thing, I would actually make it since I can only make an octagon or whatever, whatever I get. Um, but it's so good, man. Um, but anyway, sorry, I'm going on and on about it, but they're going to be expanding. So as I was saying, they've only got a pickup window. They had like a little outside kind of like covered thing with like a couple seats in it, but it, it's really, you're taking your pie out from behind the counter. You're eating it there. You can grab a water or soda or something that they have, but now they're going to have dine in. So like, I'm super excited to see them. Um, they seem like a really great couple. It's a like husband and wife that were that were doing it or had started it. Um, it's awesome. I'm like generally really excited to see this and follow and continue on. And I honestly hope we can get one time. Love it. I have nothing to add. You nailed it. I'm using my soapbox now. Is that good? Good. 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 Try it. No. I'd love to have them on though, because you know I do think right. You can see the New Haven characteristics, like right? the dark cook, yeah. the char. You yep. can see it's probably wood fired or coal fired or somewhere in between, but it's light. It's not a New Haven of beets. Um, yeah, it, absolutely, it seems, absolutely. Something about like, it just was reminiscent to that is, is what makes, looks me, like. makes me think of it that way. Yeah. So I, I again, I'd love to have them. I'd love to have them on. Just hey, what are you doing? What? How are you? You know, mashing and appropriating styles into something cool. Um, which yep. I think we're going to talk about in a bit about, you know, taking, reinventing something, but uh, it's cool. But, and listen, if you want to send me one or two or three or drive them up, I'll meet you in Columbus. <laughs> um, we can do a handoff. I'll get you some Detroit. Um, and we'll, we'll, only we'll, we'll do it. Nice. Only if you can bring me that California um, <laughs> deep dish on the way, man, make a long loop. All right. And I'll meet you just so we can come. Just, yeah. <laughs> No, I'll, I'll, if that, I'll drive to Chicago and get some Pequods or AOP or something for you. <laughs> speaking of Pequods, I, I want to talk about them just for one more second. 
only because I just remember listening where like I think what we were talking about key quads made like really got popular like not that popular, but, like, super popular and got a big pop um, with the show The Bear and The Bear is coming back I think they're like they just finished filming a season three I heard there's something coming out for season four and there's going to be a lot of foodie people that are going to be part of that show now so I wonder if we see any other pizza makers or anyone else I, I don't I don't have an inside information info to that <laughs> but I'm just intrigued to see um, only because like Pequod's I think caught some people's attention when they saw it on The Bear and be like where's that from so there's that and it's check it out, I, just you know we talked about the Pequod's isn't traditional as traditional deep yeah. dish it has more of a pan pizza feel it's kind of somewhere Absolutely. between like a cousin and yeah i listen big fan um could go on all show and we might here in the mint um well i mean listen i think we could probably talk about some different styles now if we want to i think that sounds fun to me let's see if i think we've got a new article potentially to share as well if you're able to give geeks pizza. Ooh. P- perhaps from someone who's a friend of the pod. Oh my goodness, look at that. What kind of pizza is this? believe this it's called a looks, uh, looks delicious yeah it uh Hello. Pincho style pizza oh <laughs> what's up christy welcome to the show how are you everyone this is christy alia at real clever food and christy's here to talk about a new style of pizza that she's come up with what up christy how are you I'm super excited. Actually, it's so funny. This pizza, like, literally just came out of, I mean, read the article. I mean, it was just originally just a joke about basically, you know, pepperoni pizza. Like, I yeah. was like, like, I was just, I was going to make pepperoni pizza because it's popular, right? Everyone likes pepperoni pizza. But um, it's funny. Pizza Rocha from Germany, if you look at her page, it's like all craziness and creative stuff and she, you know she made fun of me for making a peppermint pizza and i took that so personally because like, you know my page is pretty creative i'd like to think it is it so is like, you know what i'm gonna take pepperoni and i'm going to surprise you and i'm gonna make it extra exciting and I, but the thing is for me i don't know about you guys but i love crispy pepperoni like i mm-hmm. don't want soft soggy pepperoni so i was like how do i put this in the crust and also have crispy pepperoni, you know? And I was like, if you stuff it, it gets hidden in there. So it stays yeah. off. Um, and I was like, how do I do this? So that's how the Pincho style was uh, formed. I was like, let me see if I could figure out a way to get the pepperoni to stick out a bit. And then it is so good. Like I shocked myself. Like it's so good. It's crispy. You get the pepperoni oils into the edges i've actually did recently one with bacon oh my god Ooh. Up here for that really well. so, that's yeah. awesome i i i love it how do, so how do you i, I got a thousand questions how do we how do we eat this like are you picking off edges of it are you cutting it having a full slice am i eating <laughs> am i turning it around eating eating the crust first like a stuffed crust style like what do you do all, all of it all it. like sometimes i because I, I i mean because i've made it a few times quite a few times now i mean i'm hooked so i'll pull some of those ends off i actually will have a video coming up with me doing that and just munching on i will cut slices and you know because you'll like switch sides like yeah yeah, yeah. The other. yeah it's like the, it is the first pizza i have to tell you where i promise you it would the kids nobody's leaving that crust behind like my kids Whoa. were like oh my god this is what the neapolitan <laughs> needed i was like shh don't say that <laughs> yeah no 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 don't say that <laughs> so so, so there are no pizza bones oh, there's no pizza bones in this one that are being no. left behind i agree go ahead jim so christy the dough this is a neapolitan dough you're not doing anything special this is just your your typical dough your typical bake Right. It's just I know you know you explain how you how you make it, but just walk us through how you how you make the, the pinchos. Can you 
kind of kind of explain that for us? Well, that's the coolest thing too. Is like you can use like if you like New York pizza or you just happen to have like New York pizza dough, you can use that. But this my I use Neapolitan pizza dough for this, um, and it kind of does come with a little. It does come a little bit more crispy and stuff. So it, I guess mm-hmm. it uses that yeah. Neapolitan esque ness, but. Um, it, it is the best of both worlds, but you could do it with New York pizza dough. I was telling pizza people, like, they're afraid of launching with the peel. I'm like, if you like making yeah. pan pizzas, do it in the pan. I mean, yeah. it's, you really can't go oh, wrong. Okay, with good point. Style. So, yeah, just make a round pizza. And if you see it in the video, you know, you're just making little cuts. And then so you have these little dough tabs, I'll call them. And you put pieces of pepperoni. So if you make really big dough tabs, you could leave the pepperoni whole even. There are no rules. Make five tabs. Make a hundred tabs. Put <laughs> ten ta- pepperonis in each tab if you make big tabs. I mean, there's no love excuse it. for not trying this. <laughs> I, I love, I, I'm saying, I saw you, I saw you making it. And I was like, immediately, as soon as you put the t- <laughs> I was like, oh, Done. she's gonna, she's folding. She's gonna be folding over, and and then I was like, boom! I was like, no, I'm like rotating it and making little cups out of it. That was not, I was not expecting that. I'm not gonna lie. I thought they were just gonna be little rolled stuffed ones, and I was like, you can do that ah. too. As long you can, it's literally there are no rules. I've seen like um, other people who have made it already who try to do it. They just fold it over. It really, the I think the whole point of it is to especially if you use pepperoni or bacon or something that crisps up you're trying to just make it you know crisp up and also you know get those like really fun edges that you can pull off so pincho is there are no rules like you know me (laughs) i love it i'm not gonna say you're doing it wrong you're doing it right if you're having fun (laughs) Uh, christy i'm gonna tell you i'm gonna try this with a sicilian dough in a pan um this weekend and I'm going to purposely over cheese it. So I think, hope the cheese kind of melts into it. Right. And I am, I'm here for it. Right. Now, I know you and I talked about this a bit ago. Right. And this, this is just so wonderful and how fun. And you're, you're not, you're taking it as seriously as you need to, which is have fun with it. And gosh, darn it. I, th- I think you just, you broke the pizza world with this one. Like it's hard to say there's something new, but right. It's, it's wonderful. Congratulations. I, it. I mean, you and uh, you guys, I mean, I've been looking at pizza on Instagram and all kinds of places for years, and I've never seen this. I've seen stars, points. Star, yes. Star, yes. Star, yes. Star, yes. yes. No, yeah. This is I've very different. A long time after I made this, and I'm like looking on Google, and I couldn't find anything that was quite Perfect. like it. So I'm like, oh, my God, did I invent something here? So then I was like, we have to name this so we did a naming contest on my instagram story um the two top names that came up were actually from british people so this is an international phenomenon <laughs> interesting okay so wait now i so i know you can do anything you want i'm with you on it would you say the the og version has to have pepperoni on top or not if you want to go to like what the original creation is yes i mean use pepperoni um but i, I really i made a pincho sandwich and i made a mini pincho oh. these are all coming up so you could go wild i've gone wild already <laughs> <laughs> so pincho oh, sandwich, pincho sandwich. P- yeah okay paint, paint me a paint me a word picture. yeah what is a pincho sandwich because <laughs> I, i've too. never wanted to oh, oh so, so i basically i made the pincho because the yeah. whole thing, the pizza yeah. sandwiches have become this rage, and it just is inside yes. joke. Between yeah. in the pizza community, we're like, oh, enough of this. All you're doing <laughs> is putting olive oil and folding it over. I'm like, all right, let's see if we can make this more complicated, so no one can be like, ah, oh, the pizza pinch, the pizza sandwich is too simple. What's complicated? <laughs> So Wonderful. I took the pincho and I fold it in half and then I fill it up with, so I put bacon in each Brilliant. pincho edge yeah. and then I filled up the damn sandwich with crispy bacon and avocado. So bacon, avocado dreams inside Perfect. bacon edges. <laughs> wow. Cri- it's I, good. <laughs> I'm here. It sounds delicious. I, Do we, I, is there was, a name? It was so delicious. Is there like an official name for these? I feel like I do see them across my feet everywhere. Is it the the pizza sandwich? Like, is someone deemed it something other? What is it? 
that's the official sandwich in Italy, which they've been doing it forever. Some people call it, you know, uh, the pizza. Um, there's pizza. even um, there was a there was a restaurant. I don't know if they were in California. The they're the ones that started the craze in the U.S. Um, where they made a sandwich with mortadella in it, and they called it the yeah. pizza. But yeah, okay. really, they've been doing these forever. But, you know, Americans love to pretend <laughs> it's new. <laughs> calling it a pizza sandwich. A lot of people started calling it a pizza sandwich. Yeah. Italians were getting really pissed off that we were calling it the mortadella because they're like, you're not going to use mortadella. You can't right, right, call right. it that. <laughs> so to keep peace in the world, you know, I and a bunch of other people started calling it a pizza sandwich. See, I mean, <laughs> I, it's just so Italian. Like you, it must be perfect. It must be exact. What you like? Have you caught any hate from Italians on 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 this yes. this new style? I, I mean, I'm sure someone's had an opinion, right? No, I, I mean, people are like, why? Because it's fun. <laughs> it's fun. It's pizza. <laughs> why not? Because it's crispy yeah, pepperoni. That's, that's fun, why. Right? Yeah. When, yeah. When you get a why, you could say why. There, there, there's nothing but beauty out of this pie. This sounds so fun, so entertaining it. to like be able to so eat the on, So why not? Literally, it's so good. Like it's funny. Like I mean, like I said, like the intention was just to be a little silly and be like, oh, look what I could do with a pepperoni pizza. And then it turned out to be like this greatest thing. Like I'm hooked. Like it is. Like I said, it's fun to make, fun to cook, and it tastes so good. Like those little edges are. I'm telling you, you have to try it. Like those edges are everything and i'm like i'm a big crust person and i'm i'm hooked i'm really hooked I, it it looks great i'm, I'm totally in for this Flawless. yeah you like a crispy pepperoni and a crispy crust you know and it, it's addictive it's it's really good <laughs> Was it was it the was it the guy? Sorry, I'm going through the, the PMQ article. Who gave was it? Do and behold, who gave you some of the suggestions? Do and behold gave me cobble, which I actually fell in love with first. I actually wanted it to be cobble because I like cobblestones and I kind of like the imagery there. Oh, yeah, okay, that's my, fine. Another British guy who I'm also friends with. His name is Paul. He's from Planet Friendly um, Firewood. He yeah. came up with Pincho, and I was kind of like. But then a whole bunch of people were contacting me like, oh, that's so cool. That's so cool. Pincho style. Like, they're like gangsta style. Like, you know, it's like, so I was like, what? you know what? I was like, if I had to choose, I probably actually would have chosen Kabul. Oh. Mm. Yes. But, but I put it up to the polls and the people, <laughs> we like to say, the people, the people chose. It wasn't even <laughs> a huge margin, um, but the people chose Pincho. So. I, the pincho is what I chose because seem to, people seem to like it. And I guess it kind of, I also now, and I did kind of pinch the dough. So that's what I was thinking. Yeah. I mean, mechanically, I was thinking about yeah. the gym. We were probably like, we were both thinking the same thing. So I was just like, oh. <laughs> and like that made sense. I was like, oh, pincho. Like, that's it. There we go. Again. Again. Perfect. But, uh, I love it. I, I, yeah, I have to credit those people, and that's why they're in the article. So hopefully now they won't say I just took their name and forgot about them. <laughs> I told PMQ who they were. <laughs> would never be your style. I don't think anyone no. would, would say. Heck no. With all, with all the, the work that you've done in general. Listen, Christy, while we have you for one second, tell us how did um, Women's Pizza Munch uh, work out for you? That just wrapped up in March. It worked out amazingly well and what's cool too is uh the scholarship opportunity is still open um if you didn't hear i uh, teamed up with cordo and status Hot tomatoes and we're sending five aspiring women pizza makers to pizza university for a multi-day intensive course i mean it's worth thousands and they're going to get their travel expenses paid for and this scholarship is still open you could go to porto-olive.com if you know someone who would be interested in this it's scholarships open till the end of the month um so we've already gotten a lot of great applications but we're still open to more if people want you know to apply we're still taking applications but it, it was like it was the biggest month ever that we've had in women's pizza month i mean it was so and so much amazing feedback from people people had so much fun and it also like i feel like women came away from that feeling like oh wow you know we're being seen and that's yeah that's the yeah. whole point of it and uh and now we could actually even help people here so we're gonna be sending women you know a scholarship really really meaningful scholarship 
lucky. So that's I, awesome. That, that's life changing, right? Five people, you're changing their life, and you know, hopefully, breeding more. So congratulate. This is it, it's incredible. Right. Yeah, and you know it's... Rafi from Hill Hut, um, Hilltown Hut Pies, who just opened up his pizzeria up there. He went to Pizza University. Like a lot of people who just didn't quite, they weren't quite ready to take that next step. Yeah. They found that yeah. Pizza University has helped them. So I'm hoping that that will help those people, people that have pop ups or people who are just home pizza makers who just want to get into that. I'm hoping this is going to help these people. Is it more than just is it more than just pizza skills from that perspective of like the business side too as well, or is it fundamentally like the, just the culinary side? I don't know how far it has oh, fans. Okay. And they can take cool. whatever course they want, like Porto, uh, Dennis, well, We're not saying you have to take this course. They can gotcha. take any course within like I think a year or two. It's like it's wow. pretty incredible. Yeah. And wow. What, All right, get what, your applications in. Where do they yeah. go from? Where do they go for this to get an application? Where do they got a what site? It's just cordo-olive.com, and you'll see under, I think under, it's still under the pizza kit, you'll see the scholarship. And if you have, if anyone has a new problem, they could just contact me, but it's on the Cordo Olive Oil uh, website. Okay. Uh, is there extra pops if they submit a picture of, of a pincho as well within within that application? Can't hurt, right? It can't hurt, right? There is a picture requirement. You have to post a picture of your pizza. I mean, I'm not. Okay. One on one, anyone out there who's submitting, send a pincho. Pincho pizza. <laughs> <laughs> but there are two other judges, so it might not impress mm -hmm. them. Ah, but it probably it will. <laughs> they're, they're up on time. So the new technique, right? I mean, they're adaptable, they're it? agile. I, you have my vote. Awesome. <laughs> Awesome. Well, listen, everyone, you guys definitely have to check it out. Porto, Porto.com slash olive. Porto.com. Porto-olive.com. I'm so bad at this. Porto-olive. I've been saying it longer. <laughs> <laughs> You've been saying it for Awesome. Listen, Chrissy, this was great. I thank you so much for coming in and talking to us. This is beautiful, guys. Get out there and try your own pincho. There are no rules. Except I'm telling you, you got to use pepperoni, at least yeah. to start with, maybe. But yeah, give it a whirl. It looks so cool. With, like you know with mine as like a idea and baseline what you want yeah. and like people are so afraid of messing up i'm like mess it up it's gonna be awesome <laughs> that's the fun right <laughs> like it's they're you know i i feel like i'll look more rustic and artisanal i think that's the appeal of it maybe I, yeah a, a messed up pizza with crispy pepperoni is still one of the best things you've ever had so go go for it Yes, this doesn't even need to be round, right? Nope. I mean, literally now, yes. you can, you could, if there could be a missed launch in here. We're still going to end up all right, right? I'm chopping this pie off. We're going to be all Absolutely. right. Absolutely. Gotta I mean, be okay. I, I made a sandwich. You can make a calzone out of it. Go for oh, it. Make whatever the you pincho want. pincho calzone. I mean, it'll be cool, right? If you have a messed up launch, you'll have like the, a whole, like a wavy pizza. I mean, it'll look even cooler. You could just say it was on purpose. How yeah. awesome is that? <laughs> Maybe you'll be viral on Instagram because of yeah. your pizza. Yes. Pincho. You never know. All right, this weekend, Christy, I told Will I'm doing, you know, the, the big photo shoot, right? I'm going to make one. I'm going to tag you in. It's going to be wonderful. It's going to be a cheesy pepperoni mess. So awesome. be on the lookout. I'm going to try it. free pizzas soon. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Yeah. So. Hmm. I'm going wild. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll do a gluten-free pincho. <laughs> there you go. Oh. <laughs> are, you, are you a gluten-free fan all the time, Christy? Do you um, like gluten-free pizzas? I prefer pizza. No one's listening. No one's listening. We're just talking between friends. <laughs> no, I prefer pizza with gluten, but I, if I'm going to have a gluten-free pizza, I make a really yeah. good one. A really good one. I think if you're going to put, um, if you're going to go for a thicker style of gluten-free, it tends to taste better, in my opinion, with a higher hydration because you're Fair. basically, the water is creating those air pockets as they evaporate inside the dough. Or a really, really thin, crispy pizza. So then it's like, because at that point, like, you know, you really don't notice the difference. I mean, between the gluten and the gluten free. Um, but you could make a good gluten, any style pizza, but I'm, it stands at the strongest as far as like someone who I guess can eat gluten and compare apples yeah. you know, to apples. Mm -hmm. I think that thin, thin or high hydration is the way to go. And to go high hydration, you're going to want to use the pan. She, she, she's the master. She knows. Yeah, that's that per usual. Okay. Uh, yeah. Thank you, Christy. Christy, <laughs> do you want to do an article with us? 
an article? Say yes. Yeah. yeah. Say yes. Oh, yes. All right. Yes. All right. All right. Absolutely. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yes. Okay. All right. We already <laughs> talked about under mixing dough. Um, so we, we can't we can't go backwards. PMQ had a feature in under mixing dough, yeah. and that's probably um, okay <laughs> from that perspective. <laughs> um, let's talk about Jimmy Fallon's pizza uh, for a second, Jim. So this one out of Food Beast. Um, Jimmy Fallon is partnering with. Um, Jimmy Fallon teams with Pizza Hut and Chain to create his own personal pan pizza. Um, so there's one thing we all can agree on. It's pizza is one of the best foods ever. Jimmy Fallon is showing his love for cheesy pies by partnering with Pizza Hut on a new celebrity meal called Jimmy's Personal Pan Pizza. The limited time offering was created in collaboration with Chain. And Chain's a nostalgia-themed concept um, and brainchild of famous foodie BJ Novak and Michelin star chef Tim Hollingsworth. So in general, they kind of like make recreations or mashups of, of some creations for like regular restaurants or chain restaurants. So I'm interested for your opinion, because I was talking to Jim about this beforehand and we need to know if you know this cheese. So in general, Jimmy Fallon's personal pan pizza is a buttery, flaky dough topped with Chef Tim Hollingsworth's original spicy red sauce, a four cheese blend that includes Parmigiano Vache Rossi, that's V-A-C-C-H-E Rossi. I'm intrigued, Christy, if you've ever heard of this Parmesan variant. I don't know I'm it. I'm guessing that, no, but I'm guessing that the Pizza Hut wasn't willing to pay for uh, Parmesan Reggiano. <laughs> <laughs> so there it is. That's the fake version of it, and they don't want, you know, to cause any DOC issues here. That's my guess on it. There so it is. I bet you that that name didn't even exist before Jimmy Fallon put it up. <laughs> Someone else is Parmigiano. <laughs> That's my guess. Well, That's listen, if obviously this... Obviously, I, I haven't heard of it. If some, like, Italian yells at me, that my great-grandfather has been eating <laughs> that or making that since 1772, I apologize. <laughs> I, I, That's fair. I, I, I'm I'm going to Google it right now because I think you're absolutely right, Christy. I think it's a, you know, a, a not Reggiano version of an aged cheese. Um, so well, while yeah. you're looking, while you're looking, I will say that in addition to the pizza, it comes with a side of sizzling pepperoni chips and a cup of the chain's dippable super ranch dressing. Um, <laughs> so that's the whole pie. Because I was gonna say. Listen, I mean, you're you are over there creating the pincho, right? And and Jimmy is only coming up with a spicy red sauce four cheese blend, all right. And so this felt a little weak, Jim. What do you think about this? This felt like a weak favorite pie from Jimmy Fallon. I was expecting something a little more. Yeah, I was expecting some sort of volcano in the middle with cheese, right? Absolutely. Or some something. some sort of you know Bring cool it. topping. Bring it, right? Don't it's don't. Silly. Ha- it's gonna be funny. It should be. He should have had yes. a pincho and venom. Yes, the Pincho will Watch play. Pizza Hut steal it. <laughs> Pizza Hut. I don't, I would, you know, I bet you Jimmy Fallon probably like wouldn't in a million years, like if he was really a pizza snob, be like, I'll work with Pizza Hut. He's probably like, yeah, for a few million, I'll sell my soul. For a few million Pizza Hut, I might sell my soul. <laughs> I, I, you know, yep. so I, I, I would be okay with this as well. I would have been there with Jimmy. I would have been not a problem. <laughs> I will say, listen, the the side of sizzling pepperoni chips and dippable ranch, I know, Christy, you may not fall in the ranch category, but I will reference, guys. I was in New York a couple months ago. I ate at a spot, Bad Roman, in um, Time Warner Center. They were only, like, one of the only dishes they serve for an appetizer is pepperoni cups with a side of ranch. I'm down for it. If it doesn't need, I don't necessarily need it on the side of my pizza, but I'm down for it. If you guys haven't tried it, it's the way to go. I'm, I'm all for it. So just, I, I support you there, Jimmy, but I don't know about the <laughs> spicy tomato and four cheese blend. Sorry, what'd you say, Christy? Very healthy. Oh, no, it wasn't the healthiest dining out experience that I had, uh, that's for sure. <laughs> Jim, what did we find? Anything Anything on this cheese? Yeah, it, it looks like a variant of Parmesan Reggiano, right? Uh, uh-huh. You know, it might might be a little higher shelf but I, I think it's, I don't know, I, I'm with you, Chris. They probably bought the name, put it out there, and they just don't want to. But again, I don't, it's a boring pizza. It's a four cheese Diablo sauce pizza. Be, be interesting, yeah. Jimmy Fallon. If, but he probably I, had nothing to do with it, right? He probably just signed his name and cashed a check. So, Chrissy, do you do cheese blend pizzas in general? I'm interested. Do you, do you, do you see, like, 
cheese, four cheese blend as like ever? Is there a need for this many cheeses besides if you're a chain restaurant and are, are blending? Do we need all these many together? That many cheeses, but I don't really four cheese blend. Like, I mean, I love I, if you guys haven't like as I knew, like if you like a New York style pizza, mm -hmm. like if you haven't mm -hmm. mixed like provolone and mozzarella, which a lot of New York pizzerias do that. And do you don't even talk about this? That. Well, you know, yep. like that's actually not creative. That's traditional. A lot of pizzerias do it. So you're actually eating traditionally a two cheese pizza in a lot of pizzerias. And it's not unheard of to put, um, you know, Romano on there, or even sure. down right down. So there's three yep. right there, right there. Okay. Okay. It's true. So, yeah. Four cheese is not such a big deal. I mean, if you're talking about quattro formaggio, then the Italians will come after us if you don't yes. need traditional <laughs> four. Don't need that. Bit. Oh my God, you put cheddar. That is not quattro. <laughs> 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 But I mean, you can totally, I do often use multiple cheeses. So yeah, no, it's, it's not a matter of like having to, but I do think it does add a nice flavor too. And if you're using like, I really love to use, uh, you know, a, a regular provolone with a fresh mozzarella. And I find yeah. the provolone adds a nice flavor. It adds a nice cheese pull. And mm -hmm. then the fresh mozzarella, because fresh mozzarella, I mean, if you really want to admit it, it doesn't have that much flavor. So that provolone gives it that little extra stretch a little extra flavor it's nice carries I could, it i could get down with the with the two or few maybe it's just the the term that i see on chain menus when they say like four cheese blend and i just picture like a sheet of cheese that i will just kind of like fall off um and that, <laughs> i know that's not what's happening when you're making pies maybe it's just that association when i think about it here I see that. I mean, yes, the four cheese thing is them their way of being like, oh, this is cheesy and going to be good. It's just like a marketing thing. That's what it is. Oh, yeah. I mean, if I say tell the people what those four cheeses are, you know, if you're really proud of them. You got it. Um, Jim, let's do one more, man. Let's talk about Guy Fieri uh, for a second. This was on WTNH.com. So this one, Guy Fieri show to pick best new haven pizza hot chicken and burger so apparently uh guy fairy unleashes uh noah cape jet tilla and tiffany Faison on new haven connecticut where they embark on a fun-filled journey to sample the most amazing food in the city's acclaimed restaurants um they will be judging and picking the best new haven pizza so christy do you have faith in Guy Fieri to deliver home the best New Haven pizza or the best pizza New Haven has to offer, period. I'm gonna say I have a lot of confidence in Guy. I was like, um, I'm looking for a Food Network TV show. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I don't know him personally. I really don't know anything. I mean, truly, I don't know what his pizza, I don't know that much about him. I don't know his pizza taste, so I can't mm -hmm. really judge him and how, yeah. so I feel like he's just the average Joe guy, Schmo guy, you know, as far as I'm concerned. So um, I don't know. I'll, I, I'll, I'll let you know after. Will you tune in? Will you tune in to watch at least then? Now you're host. Now you're host. I'll you tune in to you yeah. to find out what he said. <laughs> you want the express version. You want the express version. I got it. Yeah. Okay, I understand. Yeah. I want Jim, what do you think, man? Do you have confidence, Jim? <laughs> I, I do, you know. I've I have friends who know Guy and you know Jet Tila, and I I mean they're they're ultimately they're they're food people at heart, right? And I know a lot of this. Yeah. There's production, right? And there's probably sponsorships and stuff with it. But I don't know. I I'm sure whoever they pick won't be abhorrent. It might, you know, there might be some kickbacks or there might be a little uh, oh, and there's a guy's restaurant with it. But I don't know. I, I'm sure they'll nail it so long as it's Pepe's. You know, it'll be fine. <laughs> politics involved it, yes i mean come on and also i mean just think about that it's like when you're talking about mass media and stuff it's it, it you know and you're trying to go drum up you know ratings and stuff you, like people like if you ignore pepe's and sally's people are gonna yeah. just riot just even if they've never even been there they're gonna be like sally's and pepe's are the best even though they've never even tasted it in their life <laughs> like you know because they're like never even had it. so it's 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 a t it's a tough one i actually wouldn't want to have to choose the best one anyway. so listen here's here's what they say for for how the way this works and i know i didn't even give you guys a chance to hear each host will pick one winner from each category pizza chicken and burger 
then they will send that selection to a panel of judges who will pick the winner. The winning restaurant will receive a $5,000 check for itself and $5,000 to give to a local charity. So yeah. it seems like a win-win for the outcome for it. So it seems pretty cool. I hope they yeah, include some of the little guys. There are so many like little pizza places over there Absolutely. that people don't know about. So I hope it's not just Pepe's and Sally's and Modern. You know, I hope it, they could yeah. look at some of the little ones there because I feel like, you know, this is a chance to actually help some of those small businesses. Like, cause I'm like a big champion of small businesses, you know? So exactly. they're some the best businesses. And listen, f- five grand for, for one of the big ones doesn't leave a mark or five grand for a mom and pop that might, you know, just barely have a patio that, that could be the difference. Right. So, and I'm sh- I'm sure they'll do right by everyone. Right. I'm sure there'll be a big name, a medium name and name, you know, an upstart. I'm, I'm sure. Right. I hope. I hope. So. Do you, Christy, I don't know if I've seen you make a New Haven style pizza. Are you? Do you get down with the New Haven pizza? I have made New Haven style. I don't make it a lot, but I have okay. actually even made it. Um, you know, using coal. You know, I in. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oven, pizza yeah. oven, yeah. So, yeah. Wait, do you have a secret coal oven in your backyard somewhere no, as well? No, or... oven can be used to coal. <laughs> you can use charcoal <laughs> with any wood-fired oven. Yeah, so. <laughs> but, um, Wait, can you put coal in an uni? I never, I, I, I never thought not of that. Um, not a gas. You, you one, could want. No, multi fuel No, I, guess, I know not a gas. <laughs> oh, babe, I know not to put coal in my gas uni. <laughs> well, no, you seem so shocked. <laughs> I just never thought about well, it. Well, he must be the <clears throat> gas one if he's so surprised. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Will. We had to. They're like, sorry, Will, but... you don't need to plug it in. You don't need to plug it in then, Will. Like, oh, that's what I've been missing this whole time. <laughs> I never thought about that, though. That's cool. Have you, have, is that a trend people are doing or using coal in their in their wood-fired uni it's an economical thing yeah a yeah. lot of people actually don't use all wood because it costs more to burn just firewood so to mix up some charcoal especially to get the oven hot and to make yeah it, it's a smart way to go it is and plus the flavor absolutely yep. guys i didn't know this i feel like this is enlightening this is awesome i'm so glad you both are here look at this look at you know, yeah it's a little yeah embers versus <laughs> so that's also kind of the reverse is how you know some of the places are getting over some of the emissions right with the they can't be all coal fired they're actually then reverse spiking it with wood right which smolders so you, you kind of see yeah the cross going back the other way oh, wait am i cheating now from coal fired utilizing wood it's well awesome. Is this going to get technical, Jim? Now you brought it up, man. You open the right. door box. Turn into charcoal you eventually. pick the box. You're good. <laughs> I, listen, okay. if it's that or they have to shut down because of their emissions, go for it. Fair. You're not cheating. Yeah. Right. Fair, fair, fair. Or you're in New York and you have to get one of these super duper scrubbers. Right? Exactly. To install on top, which is just, I mean, that seems like quite a lift. I mean, we um, can start a whole like pizza political thing here. I right. think most pizza people are like, you're going after the wrong source of emissions here. <laughs> if only you knew someone who knew a lot about pizza and, you know, chemical manufacturing, they could probably weigh in perfectly. Oh my God. Situation. Oh, can wait, where are the odds? Look at that. Mm. <laughs> it's silly. The whole thing's silly. That there's there's my professional I mean, if opinion. We sent if we like paid some small businesses in you know some third world countries, you know that some of the money that they're probably finding these companies or the companies that are spending to change over this stuff, these little businesses in third world countries, you know, in developing nations, I should say, you know, could probably actually lower the emissions more than this pizzeria, you know. Yeah, the 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 scrubbers would be better spent elsewhere in the, on this plant. Very sad. Very sad. Um. Well, Chrissy, listen, you talked to you talked about us, new Pincho. I loved it. It looks awesome. Please check out Christy at Real Clever Food to check out her new Pincho pizza. You've got mini ones coming your way, sandwich versions. You need people out there. Should people be tagging you the in these is there a hashtag for this yet? Yeah. So like until May first. I mean they could always tag me, but until May first, I'm actually going to if you tag me and do a pincho style, any kind of pincho style, you will be eligible to win a one hundred dollar uni gift card. Ooh, okay, all you don't right. Have to follow me. I'm not doing like you win a card for follow me. Don't even follow me. Unfollow me. I see if I care. You, you, <laughs> you, you, you can make a 
intro pizza. <laughs> you should really follow okay, Christy, though. Yeah, just don't for the record. Her. Don't unfollow her. Make sure you do follow <laughs> like, Christy. You're missing out on a lot of like a, a beautiful looking pizza page. Like you're just gonna look at it. It's gonna be like it's like one of those ones where like the light gleams off of it, and you're just like, wow. Like there's so much content and amazing pizza on it. That's so. not why I'm doing the giveaway. I just thought it'd be fun. I appreciate the disclaimer. Absolutely. <laughs> like, you have to follow as me always. and you follow five other brands and like this post. You don't have to like the post. You don't have to follow anyone. Just make a pincho pizza. Tag me so I know you made it. You yeah. know, and that's it. You can that's win hundred. Just easy. Worth it. Okay. All right. This is awesome. And then make sure you're checking out what is the site for the scholarship that we need to go to? Cordo-olive.com, um, and you'll, I think it's still under the pizza kit, and you'll see the Cordo Stanislaus scholarship. Yeah. All right. Chance to get a scholarship to Pizza University, guys. Awesome. Christy, thank you so much for, for jumping in tonight. Like I said, out again, guys. Christy Aliyah at Real Clever Food. Jim, man, I don't want to leave you hanging. Where can everyone okay. find you across your social media landscape, my friend? Jim cooks food good. Wherever you get, I'll be there. Awesome. I love it, guys. Look out for more Pincho content coming your way, guys. And for everyone else, thank you too for tuning in tonight. Check out our YouTube page, I Need Pizza Club. Like and subscribe to this video. And also check out, we've got a ton more content out there, a lot of great interviews and a lot of great other shows as well. So please check us out. We are there. Boom. On YouTube, I Need Pizza Club. Everyone else, thanks guys for coming and we'll catch you next week. Thank you, Christy. Thank you, Jim. See you guys. Thank you so much. All right. Fun.